victim is Nate Ramo, a member of the SWAT division. His whole team is currently under investigation by internal affairs. I wonder what he was doing here. Looks like he was thrown a considerable distance by the vehicle. I can use the spatter distribution to determine the point of initial impact. This is where Ramo was killed. DNA evidence indicates the car was traveling at a high rate of speed, but the angle of spatter shows the driver lost control and the car was weaving. I should review the crime scene, see if anything else was hit. Chemical analysis indicates a specific brand of paint that narrows down the make and model of the car, and cross-referencing these specs with a list of his team members returns a single name, John DeMarco. Time to pay him a visit. Why did you do it, DeMarco? Why did you kill Ramo? I didn't have enough to make the charges stick, but the kid got scared, made a deal and decided to talk. <laughs> Traitor. You'd have been out of jail in a few years on the drug charges, but now, murder means life. We'll see about that. With all the evidence I've collected, it won't take long for the jury to convict. Funny thing about evidence, it has a tendency to disappear. Not on my watch. Alfred, let GCPD know that Ramo's murderer has been captured. I'm also sending you a taped confession. We'll bring down the rest of the team with him. 